White noise metal. With that BS dude, Brian Shields. Shane, the brain, and Alan from Across the Sun. Uh, awesome set today. I'm really here at the Indiana Metal Fest. Um, tell me a little bit about the background about your, of, of your band. Uh, we formed in uh, 2004. And originally, um, it was just for uh, it was two, two guitarists, a bass player, and drummer, and vocalist. And uh, it was a team of bass um, and uh, the original guitarist wanted to add a little bit more dynamics and sound. So he got me in, and uh, I tried out and uh, for the keyword position. And uh, we've kind of just been expanding fun ever since. So. Yeah. And then we just got signed into Metal Leg um, uh, last year. I don't know what we're talking about, but um, so yeah, it's been about seven years. So. So seven years and all of a sudden you're an overnight success. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about overnight success. It doesn't feel like it. You certainly have been given an opportunity to uh, make a success by yourself, for sure. What's it been like uh, with Metal Blade? Um, so far, nothing but, but good. Um, Vince uh, from, uh, from Metal Blade has been really awesome with us. And we've gotten really good with it. Well, actually, um, a couple of them have been too much, but uh, everybody seems really awesome. And they love the album. So. so tell me about the album. <laughs> It's called uh, Before the Night Takes Us. It just came out uh, a couple weeks ago now. Uh, and uh, that's our uh, first full length. You know, like we've done quite a few EPs before um, and some demos as well. Uh, but we're really pleased with it. Uh, we can just talk about the most dynamic. We really want to show the world what we can do on the full dynamic spectrum of what we can do. So um, you could say, I uh, think some people have said it's kind of you know, too all over the place for them, but you know, we really wanted to show people that we can do it every day. So. Maybe because of the songwriting process. Um, it just depends. Uh, it's different uh, for every song. Some some songs like our guitarist will have a couple riffs, and um, or we'll maybe even like a full kind of skeleton, and we'll build upon it. Uh, a lot of times, uh, I'll just have a couple ideas, and then we'll I'll get together with the guitarist, and then we'll kind of flesh it out with Alan and the rhythm section. It's just so it's always different for every song, really. So it's kind of you know it's, it's always a very um, collaborative input sort of that part where it's not just one person Nazi. Right, everything. So. Well, we, always, we each bring something different to the table where, since I don't play guitar, I normally can't start a song. Um, uh, you know, Sam or Brain have to have some sort of melody for me to, to put a rhythm to. But I think where, where I contribute the most is once we do have that skeleton, I like to go through and, and quickly tighten and polish up everything because, you know, I'm a big radio rock guy. Like, I, you know, as, as guilty as I am to, to admit it, like, I like, uh, you know, Breaking Benjamin and and uh, nipple pop and stuff like that. And it's not necessarily I like the music as much as I like the production and just the crafty little stops. And, um, you know, you just, yeah, all the bells and whistles really like it. It's, it that's kind of where, where I shine. As well as obviously running the breakdowns and stuff because that's more of a rhythmic syncopation test kind of thing. So, but yeah, we all, it, it's weird how it comes together. It's maybe the most democratic process imaginable, which I always thought it was the norm. But in all, you know, talking with the, all the bands we tour with, that's almost never the way that it happens. It's usually one, maybe two guys. So, so you guys are from Portland, Oregon. You're out here in Massachusetts. I expect you'll be a lot. Uh, you'll be on the road quite a bit, uh, supporting this record. Yes, we are. Uh, we've already been out for a while. We have some bad luck on, on this tour, but we're starting to get our bearings about us right now. But um, I, I speak with our manager as, as frequently as I can, and he basically doesn't want us home. Uh, you know, and rightfully so. It's completely understandable. We've got. We've got a, a baby to uh, to promote, you know, and we've got to make sure that the world's seeing it as much as possible. And it's one thing just to kind of sit at home on Facebook and go, hey, we have a new record. But it's another to get in everybody's face, speak with them personally after shows, um, sign things at the merch table, you know, just get really personal with them. Um, uh, but, yeah, we're basically, with the exception of a week or two here and there uh, off, where we're gone for, I think, all the way until pretty deep into the summer. So, yeah. So, Finally, I do a segment of my interviews that I call Shit We Like, mm-hmm. where I ask the bands that I'm interviewing, the fans of Across the Sun, what are some of the bands that uh, that you've run across that uh, you think that they might like, that they may not have heard of? I'm not talking famous bands, but oh, bands okay. that you might have, they have come up that they have not heard of. Ooh, that's rough. Um, man, I, I don't know, because I consider myself pretty out of touch, so hopefully I don't name somebody and everybody's like, that's one of my favorite bands, I'm already familiar with them, but... Uh, I guess we were just speaking about them earlier. Uh, Circle of Contempt. I can see some people being fans of them. Um, man, who well, else? Oh, absolutely not. There's a band from Germany called Deadlock that we really like. Uh, then the chick singer does all the clean vocals, and then they have a dude that does the death metal. And it's like just super thrashy, you know, like German crack, basically. And it's 
it's really good. So uh, we, we really have a big fan of those guys too. Catatonia, all that kind of stuff. In America, like a ton of people know about me. I bet that's amazing. Yes, you know, I have a hundred ideas. Now that you just said those too. Um, and then uh, for me, Don't Treat Billy, who just was on tour with uh, Brian, and we were actually just talking about this the other day. They were on tour with uh, the Devil Wears Prada and Coast Richard Gage, which you would think you go out with those two bands, you're going to be millionaires the next day. Like, they, they bring a few people a night, you know. Um, but uh, I know at our date in Portland, nobody really cared. And I could really see nobody really caring for most of that tour. I think they're a band that, uh, for me as a musician, they are some of the most amazing musicians on the face of the planet. They are, they are easily, yeah, they're, they're probably the best songwriters I've ever come across. Um, but we saw them at the Hawthorne Theater for a headlining thing they did, and uh, just nobody cared, man. It was like 20, 25 kids. Yeah. And for me, it was it was really heartbreaking because that's real music to me. Like, I want more of that circulating. Um, another one is Scar Symmetry. They are starting to blow up um, yeah. around here. Uh, I think they've done now two U.S. tours, maybe three, something like that. I saw them at their first one, and uh, just great musicians, phenomenal guitarists. Everybody from over there, no matter what they play, they're all prodigies of their instrument. It's just, I think European metal is just, it's just the best thing in the world. Yeah. So, anything else you want to add? I can ask you about. Um, Buy the record. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I mean, get the record. It's on iTunes. It's on Amazon. Um, yeah, they yeah. books on Amazon. Yeah. We're, always, we're always on our Facebook. It, it really is us. People think it's the label or management right. or whatever. It's always us. I, me especially, I have my iPhone glued to me. I love talking with the fans online. So, um, yeah, yak yeah, with us, you know, do, do whatever. I'm on YouTube, I'm on our Facebook, I'm on uh, our Twitter, whatever it is, I'm, I'm there yakking with you guys, so. Oh, we should have a, a surprise release eventually here. Yeah, it's supposed to come out, it's, uh, it's just one song that we're going to be putting up. Most kids know what we're yeah. talking about. It's, it's a little bit of an issue right now on Facebook where we set up to 3,500 friends, uh, or likes, like, I guess, yeah. on Facebook. Um, that we would be posting a song. I think most kids kind of already know what it is. Uh, we still are maintaining that it's a secret, but uh, I think we're up to almost 4,000 now. We still haven't posted it, and that's, that's issues with the studio and um, that we recorded out. We're trying to get our final mixes, but that will be up soon, and I swear it's going to be worth it. So. All right. I look forward to it, gentlemen. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it.